Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another DVD Blu-ray update. Um, this one is the first for the month of May. What I'm planning to do each month now, um, just so I can upload videos a little bit more regularly, hopefully watch everything that I show in my future updates, and it's just a little bit easier on me to um, keep track of everything and upload shorter videos. So I do plan to upload to a month from now on. That gives me the opportunity to go a little bit more in depth in the movies and keep the videos a little bit shorter. So that is the plan. Anyway, um, without further delay, let's get into the update. And starting off the update, we actually have a TV series. And this one was televised on TV. It's the it's called Australia The Story of Us, and it also got a Blu-ray DVD release. I was really, really impressed with this series, and if you're looking to get a little bit of history on Australia, this is definitely the series to check out. It's fairly short, it's an 80-episode series, and basically it goes back to the early settlers right up to 2015. Um, so it covers pretty much everything, um, all the different decades, really really well done extremely interesting my only slight issue that i had with this was the final episode basically covered from the 80s up until now 2015 and i felt the last episode was a little bit rushed um, they didn't really cover anything from the 90s and they basically just focused on the sydney olympics so the last episode was a little disappointing, but overall this was an absolutely terrific series and I highly recommend it. Next up we have Savage Streets and this is the Arrow DVD. Um, a lot of my long time viewers will probably know that I've been after this particular edition for a good few years now. Um, it did go out of print and I had ample opportunity to pick it up while it was in print, but I don't know, I just um, let it slip by and it went out of print. So I've been wanting this edition for ages now and I got it for a good price on eBay. Local eBay here in Australia, which was even better. It was in like new condition, comes complete with the booklet and the poster. Awesome, awesome release and I'm really happy to finally own the Arrow DVD of Savage Streets. And next up, from Umbrella Entertainment, we have the two-disc Blu-ray of Reanimator. And this is exclusive to Umbrella Entertainment. In fact, it's a limited edition, limited to 1,000 copies. And this is a really nice release. Um, it's definitely one of the most impressive releases that Umbrella Entertainment have done. And the reason that makes this release so much better than the US Blu-ray, in my opinion, is the fact that there's two different cuts of the film on the set. There's the standard theatrical cut and then there's the integral cut which I have not checked out yet. But Reanimator is an absolutely awesome movie. I love it and yeah I'm really happy to have the two disc Blu-ray from Umbrella Entertainment. It's a really nice packaging overall. As you can see we have some alternate artwork there which is pretty awesome. I love the design. I love all the colors. And it also comes with the um, original alternate art as well, and two Blu-rays. So that's really, really awesome. Very, very nice set from Umbrella Entertainment. That is Reanimator. Next up, we have The Purge Anarchy, and it's taken me a while to pick this one up. I was waiting for a price drop, and um, yeah, finally got around to checking this one out and picking it up. Um, this one did not disappoint. Now, I'm a big fan of the original Purge. I think it was a really unique take on the home invasion genre, and I love the whole sort of story and theme behind the Purge. Really interesting. But this was ten times better. They took the action out onto the streets, which I feel they really needed to do to um, really, you know, take the series to new heights, I guess you'd say. But yeah, this was awesome. Loved it so much. Um... Really, really awesome characters, pretty interesting storyline, and there was a lot of great Purge action out on the streets. So definitely recommend it, even if you weren't really a fan of the first movie, I think you'll really enjoy this one because it is ten times better. There's a third one planned as well, so that'll be interesting to see where they take the franchise next. But yeah, The Purge Anarchy, awesome film. 
And last, but certainly not least, we have Wormwood Road of the Dead. This is the movie of the update, and as you can see on the cover, Mad Max meets Dawn of the Dead. That's exactly what you get with this movie. It's basically a action, horror, comedy, zombie road movie, and it is so well done. It's an Australian film, and yeah, I was really, really impressed with this one. Um, there is a sequel planned as well, which is awesome. Um, yeah, the director definitely wants a sequel or follow-up to this film, and I cannot wait for it. Um, basically, this is centered around a zombie outbreak, and it centers around three characters who are basically trying to um, fight off the zombies. The main character is trying to track down his sister, and the sister sort of has supernatural powers. She can communicate with the zombies, which is pretty awesome, especially towards the end of the film. But yeah, they do up the car Mad Max style. They all wear um, Mad Max styled armor, um, just like the guy there on the cover. The gore in this is absolutely fantastic. It's really gory, really bloody. Um, apart from a few obvious CGI moments, most of the effects are practical. But yeah, this was absolutely fantastic. Um, it's less emphasis on comedy, more on the horror and action. And yeah, all the genres are blended in perfectly with this one. I am kind of, or I was kind of over the zombie genre, but um, you know, this has definitely given me faith that there still can be some really good modern zombie films made. And yeah, I thought this was absolutely brilliant. So check this one out. Um, I'm not too sure if it's had a US or UK release as of yet, but if it has, I highly recommend it. This was absolutely amazing. And yeah, as I said, there is a sequel in the works and I cannot wait for it. So that's Wormwood Road of the Dead. Alrighty, so that does it for another Blu-ray DVD update. Definitely let me know what you think of the titles I've added into the collection, especially if you've seen any of these. I'm keen to hear your opinions on the films that I have shown. Horror Man fan, if you're watching this, I have not forgotten to do the tag response video. That video should be uploaded this coming weekend. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the update, and thank you for watching.